Welcome to Think Like an Ant, where we talk about money, how to make your money grow, and how to make your money work for you. Today we try to un answer an important question people have been asking. What does it mean for an instrument to be marked to market? Stay tuned. So what is marked to market or amortized value? In order to explain this, let's take a simple scenario. Say you've borrowed money from a friend. You borrowed 500 US dollars. And the agreement was that you pay $50 a month in principal and interest for 12 months. So at the end of the period, you would have paid $600 to cover both principal and interest. Now, every month you need to pay them $50. But then the exchange rate in the first month when you had to pay was 10 Ghana CDs. So that became 500 Ghana CDs in repayment to your friend because mind you, you borrowed the money in dollars. So you are paying back your friend the $50, not CDs. So because the exchange rate is 10, you've paid back 500 CDs the first month. Now, as you go through the second month, the rate is changing. And as the month is ending, the rate is now about 12. So what has happened is that ultimately, when it was 10 to 1, you paid 500 CDs. But now that it's 12 to 1, you are going to pay 600 CDs for the same $50. Because you have to pay back in dollars and the rate keeps changing, the cost to you is something you have to track because it's not always the same amount. Now, let's say in the third month, you want to pay back your friend and the dollar rate has dropped to 8 to 1. That means that in this month, you now have to pay 450 CDs back, which is 50 CDs cheaper than the 500 CDs you would have paid. So you've gained money. So you get the idea. As long as the dollar rate is the same, you are fine in CD terms. And when the rate changes, it's bad for you when the rate goes up and it's good for you when the rate comes down. In a nutshell, this is how mark to market works. The fund management company or the asset manager has bought a security. The security they bought has a price. That price goes up and comes down. So every day, they go and find out the price on the market and they come back and report to you what the price is on a given day. If the rates are bad, you lose money for that day. And if the rates are better, you gain money over time. Now, the bond market has taken a bit of a hit and in recent times, it's not performing so well. So mark to market is making assets look like they've lost value. Now, if the bond market start to do very well and start to go on the incline, then of course, mark to market will start to look very positive because the returns will be better. For more clarity, you should watch my video on government bonds because it explains about how bond prices change over time and how it affects your market instruments. But we hope you understood in our simplified version how mark to market works. And of course, we all expect and hope that our markets improve so that our investments can grow. And generally, as time goes on, markets get better and investments improve. Thanks so much for being on this channel. Once again, this is Think Like an Ant, where we talk about how to make money, how to earn money, how to grow your money, how to make your money work for you. Have a good one.